an old night or last night to do a good job, so I hope you enjoy it. Yeah. Yeah. For the last 10 years, I've been a professional martial artist, teaching, training, and fighting. Like Mike said, we met at Whole Foods, <laughs> and um, he asked me if I had anybody to help with my injuries and things like that, and I was suffering from some, ne some, from some neck pain from getting punched and choked all the time, so it took me a while, but I ended up calling him. We hooked up. He uh, helped me to get stronger for my fights. And he also taught me about how the body works. We also shared ideas on dieting. Now, I got a quick question for everybody here. Who has uh, seen the show or heard of the show Family Feud? Raise your hand. Heard of Family Feud. Yeah. Um, you got to get that number one answer, right? Number one answer. Um, now, to get that, don't think about what your answer is. You have to think about what do you think everybody else, what is the most popular answer, right? So, all right, think about the number one answer. Here's the question. If somebody is on a diet, what would they eat? If somebody's on a diet, what would they say that they ate? Okay, raise your hand if you said chicken. Raise your hand if you said salad. Well, what I do is I eat life food. Now, what's life food? It's basically the oldest diet there is. Now, how old is it? Well, let's take a trip all the way back to the beginning. <laughs> wow. <No. laughs> Look at that technology. <laughs> Earth and the other planets form basically out of an explosion of the sun in some form. Everything else settled. And since the first law of thermodynamics says that energy can neither be created nor destroyed, it only changes forms, that means that everything comes from the sun. And since matter is merely energy condensed to a slow vibration, that means that whoop, everything is made out of light. Earth, chicken, ham. <laughs> so also, uh, in my, in this may sound familiar, you know, if you've heard of chi, um, ki, prana, life force, it's all kind of describing the same thing. Um, here's a picture of some life force. Um, most of the studies of the biophotons aren't even really in, written in English yet. Um, that's how new um, this this new paradigm is um, actual that that food you know is is a lot. Um, so by a photon, basically the the light particles that we're all made out of. Light food is biophoton rich. See on the left there you got an organic mushroom, on the right commercial one. It has a strong life force. For this reason that it's for this reason that light food can survive in nature. It grows wild. I'm from town of Hempstead. It's funny that this plant is um, illegal even though it's not um, it's not it's it's closely related but it's not the same plant that they use for marijuana. This uh, this hemp plant is uh, industrial hemp. You can see there all the things that it can make even biofuel. Why is it illegal? Well, hemp seeds, this is just a quick fact, hemp seeds contain all the essential amino acids and essential fatty acids necessary to maintain healthy human life. I get mine imported from Canada. But <laughs> who's saying Canada? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. um, now, life food is what grows wild on the earth. But most of the things that people eat has been hybridized and cultivated over eons and really only exists because of human beings. Um, for example, wheat is only about 10,000 years old. It was uh, hybridized from another plant. Um, 
these plants, the hybrids, like the banana, um, doesn't have the life force necessary to survive on their own. What happens if you plant wheat and you don't uh, mollycoddle it and uh, continuously spray it and uh, put chemical fertilizers and stuff? It just won't survive. Um, and when we eat those foods, that DN that weakness is uh, passed on to us. Not only that, since the food is 7,000, 10,000 years ago, um, since it's so um, new, basically, um, our DNA is, I think I read online, 200,000 is the first you know, modern humans. So I mean, 10,000 years compared to at least 2,000 years, it's such a small amount of time, we haven't evolved to manage those foods. And that's why they cause such problems. But what have we evolved to eat? Somatotyping is a uh, classification based on body type. Um, when we eat flesh, since there's no fiber and for other reasons, it takes too long to pass through your intestines. And uh, what happens when you leave uh, meat in a warm, wet place, starts to break down? You get flies, maggots, all that stuff. Um, the animals that do eat meat, their intestines are very, very short. And our intestines are too long to eat grasses and leaves. Uh, the animals that do that have extra stomachs, like a cow, or their intestines are just really, really long. So they, have, they can break down cellulose, all that kind of stuff. Um, so we can't eat, we're not made to eat meat, we're not made to eat greens. What are we made to eat? Human beings classified as frugivores. Uh, some people call that a fruitarian. Um, but if you look at the word frugivore, frug is like frugal. It means you're supposed to eat a small amount. Um, you can find primitive cultures that you know did eat a bit of flesh here and there, uh, some insects and things. Um, but it was, like Michael said, it wasn't every day, every two hours. Um, and uh, in health, uh, well, wh why can we why can we survive on such a small amount of food? Because in health, the intestinal flora can synthesize all the essential nutrients, essential fatty acids, proteins, and so forth. Unfortunately, eating the uh, acid-forming food, like cooked food, causes bile, which is produced by the liver. It's normally a liquid to solidify into wax which uh, impedes the liver from emptying properly and uh, causes a whole cascade of events, slowing digestion. Mm -hmm. Food then, even if it's good food, takes way too long to, to pass through. And um, like I said before, the stomach is, uh, the gut is warm and wet. It's a perfect environment for growing things. When you got carbohydrates in there that take too long, it ferments. If you got proteins in there, it purifies, if you got Fats in there turn rancid. So, how do you clear that up? Life food nutritional fasting helps you reclaim your inner terrain. It's also the best way to manage inflammation naturally. Um, for the last two weeks, I've been eating only blended life food um, and doing a couple other things like drinking olive oil to flush out bile occlusion, also known as gallstones um, from the liver. Close your eyes if you're squeamish. Mm -hmm. <laughs> There's a couple that I picked out. I've had probably thousands in uh, subsequent flushes. Um, and it always makes me feel good to see them better out than in, right? <laughs> <laughs> It's uh, it's hardened, uh, hardened bile. It's a, it's a wax. This is what slows down the liver. It's supposed to be bile. Supposed to be. It's a cholesterol. It's supposed to be liquid, and um, the acid forming foods cause it to solidify. And uh, you can go online and look up uh, gallstones and things like that, and you see a bunch of more nasty pictures. But <laughs> so but olive oil. Well, uh, th there's certain things that you can do to soften the stones and loosen them so they come out easier. Apple cider vinegar is really good for that. Uh, you can do a castor pack, which is uh, helpful because uh, that's uh, natural anti-inflammatory. Which end of the, 